Hey, how's it going everybody? KG Chaos here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys an advanced tutorial on No Man's Sky and how you guys can do certain things, start different quests, and get different items for new players that have just started playing the game. First off, if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys come to like this video or have found it helpful or anything in between, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate it greatly if you do. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. Now first off, if, when you guys start playing the game, you'll eventually unlock the anomaly. Now this unlocks pretty soon after you start, but once you guys get unlocked, go inside and behind the uh, Nexus mission terminal, you'll see a ledge high up. Go up here, there's also two staircases to the side you could take, but go all the way to the back and take an immediate left. Now the first terminal is the Starship Terminal, and you guys are going to want to buy a few things to make your journey more helpful. Now one of these technologies is going to be called the Economy Scanner, and the other one is the Conflict Scanner. Now these are very important to have just for certain things to be able to know exactly where to go. also recommend getting the teleport receiver that's above it eventually. And then for weaponry for your ship, honestly get the infra knife first because this is the best gun in the game or I guess weaponry for your starship in the game. And you can just pretty much shred through anything that you're trying to fight against with it. So I highly recommend to get that. Now let's go ahead and start with ships. We got shuttles and explorers on the explorer ships. Now they have a little bit better a warp drive range so if you guys are trying to go to further systems these will be your types of ship for you now if you guys are wanting to just look at the class type you guys can bring up your scanner and look at the ship and it'll say what your class uh ship is that you are currently looking at without having to go to the actual uh being to see what it is now there are different types of ships you can choose from some being fighters some being cargo ships others being exotics now all of these have different looks to them uh, the first two you guys seen are special ones that you guys won't be able to get unless you played earlier expeditions and there also is a living ship now this ship technically it's just how exactly how it sounds it's a living ship that kind of moves and if you guys want to be able to get this you guys need to go into the anomaly into the right of the nexus terminal there is the quicksilver merchant which quicksilver is the special currency you actually have to do missions for and it costs 3200 now you can't get this in one day i think you can do like two or three uh, nexus missions a day a three is right there oh you get three and they're 400 each except for on weekends you get a mission that gives you 1200 so it does take a few days to be able to get enough to get the living ship uh but i'm not exactly going to show you guys what you have to do with the living ship it's self-explanatory but it does take a few days actual real days uh to be able to get the living ship so it's not something you can just go and get pretty quick it does take time um, and there's also many styles you can get for this some without armor some with armor This one you see here is fully decked out in armor But they all look and have different kind of looks to them some have different colors So it kind of just goes goes down to how many times do you want to do this to get the living ship because it is Very very repetitive on trying to get the one that you exactly want the living ship has one of the highest slot capacities You can have next up is the solar ship now these take the place of a shuttle spawn um, and they most likely you will find one in a pirate controlled they can spawn in regular systems But they're really rare so go to a pirate controlled system as you can see here on the description of this system That is where you'll want to go to be able to find one more easily Now once you get into the system guys You're gonna to want to go to the space station or find a trading post trading post is better because they spawn more quickly But if you guys go to a space station, you might have to wait a few minutes until they start to spawn But once they do you can see that they come in many different looks uh, especially the solar cell it can come in like a boxy or kind of like a half moon look and now next up is going to be the interceptor and how you guys can get them not only does the interceptor have the best looking cockpit animation once you get inside of it but this uh, ship will also hover in place whenever you're on a planet instead of slowly moving like the rest of them uh, what you guys want to do first is you guys want to go to the system and look for a dissonant planet system you'll see it there near the 120 light years the uh, orangish yellow words you'll see it there it says dissonant you guys want to go to that planet system now once you guys get there, scan the planets until you find one that says distance detected. It'll be at the bottom of the description when you're looking at the planet. Now once you guys get onto the planet, you're gonna try to find one of these desert resonators that's on the ground. It's like a mechanical drill that's sitting there walking around. And you're gonna to want to destroy one of these. Now once you do, the sentinels will start attacking you and all you wanna do after that is get into your ship and then go up into the air so these sentinel ships come after you. Now once they start attacking you, just keep destroying the waves of them that keeps coming until you get a 5 wanted level. 
Now once you get this wanted level, you're going to get a sentinel freighter that starts shooting at you from space. And that is kind of what you are wanting to wait for. Because once this starts shooting at you, you're going to go up into space and try to destroy it. So you guys can get a special item that helps you find the sentinel ships. Be careful whenever you go up into space after it because it's kind of right at the edge of space and the atmosphere. So you can kind of blow right past it. What you guys want to look for are these little domes. There's two on each side that control the shield. And once you destroy them, you'll be able to destroy the ship completely. Just watch the bottom right in the little description as the percentage goes down, and then you'll eventually destroy it. And you guys, once you destroy it, you can get a special item that lets you detect exactly where one of these uh, Sentinel starships are, which is going to be called the Carrier AI Fragment. And once you have that, guys, go ahead and go back down to the planet, get the Sentinels back on you, until you get about a three-star to where a big kind of spider drone that jumps at you, not the small ones, the bigger one, uh, and you guys are going to get a crystallized heart from that. You'll need that later. Now, uh, also, you can shoot these little crystals for a certain new material or the big ones for radiant shards. Now, the big ones with the radiant shards do not have the Sentinels trapped inside of them, so that's how you'll know the difference. Now, once you guys are done with that, go ahead and get your carrier AI, hover over it in your inventory, and you guys are going to want to scan it. Now, once you do this, it's going to point out exactly where the destinate spike is, which is where the Sentinel ship will be. Now, once you guys have that and you go and try to look for the little logo, if it is many minutes away, uh, like a few minutes or more, the easiest thing to do is go back up into space and then use your pulse drive to mark it and lock on and then just it'll shoot you straight to it. It's a lot quicker than trying to travel many minutes across the landscape just to get over to it. Now, once you guys get over here, word of advice, um, the Sentinel ship does not change. So if you do not like the ship that is here, find a new planet to go to because it'll be the same ship every time, just a different class whenever you go to look for it. Now, once you guys go inside of it, you'll see that there are many things in here you can grab. The top right is what you want to go to. You need three radiant shards, one inverted mirror, which is that me mechanical drill thing, and a harmonic brain. Now, under that is the <clears throat> hyaline brain which is what you're going to put in your inventory and you are going to use the probe. Now I don't have this on recording because I already had a harmonic brain, but you guys are going to want to hold square or whatever it is to probe the brain. Now it's going to send you to a location to make it into a harmonic brain. And then all you're going to do after that is go straight back to the ship that you guys were just at. Um, it'll point all the waypoints to you. So don't worry about remembering where it is. You're just going to go back to it and you're going to install it. And now the new uh, Sentinel ship is now yours. Now there's different types of economy levels as such as balanced, wealthy, uh, they can go really low to where they're not very good systems to go to, but the wealthy ones are what you're going to want to go to. The more wealthy ones will have better ships with attachments, but the ships will be more expensive. If you guys are looking specifically for S-class ships, like uh, starships, then you're going to want to go to a pirate outlaw system. They spawn way better there. Now, if you guys are wanting to build a ship uh, that you guys want, have a certain way, like you see certain things on some ships that you want, um, there is an actual starship designer pad that's in every space station. It's the big landing little area that you guys can see uh, back behind the terminal um, that's where you want to go it's really unmissable and the only things you guys want to really have to buy or find is the reactors now you can go up here to the left to the um, starship merchant and he actually sells these but depending on what your rank is with that uh, with that certain uh, intelligent species it's going to cost more than uh, with what it would so you see here I have pretty much maxed with them so I'm getting a 6,000 discount so that means that the S class one is 12,000 nanites um, honestly get the S class one it'll save you a lot of headaches later on and you just have the best thing installed on your ship don't worry about the rest of them unless you just got them for free or found them so just go ahead and get the S class for it now there is another way you guys can get these there is a mission merchant that's also in the space station that sells different uh just randomly different levels of the reactor as there you see it was an a class it is just right there to the left of the actual galactic portal now next guys we're gonna go ahead and talk about the different freighters that you guys can get throughout the game so on every new save you guys can get one free freighter as your first freighter that you guys get it'll be completely free so it's better to get the best one possible uh, you can find these freighters uh, different ways one way is to warp about five times and look for high uh, danger uh, planetary systems and when you guys get one that has a battle it'll kind of notify you right here that there's a battle taking place all you guys want to do is destroy the ships uh, attacking that freighter be careful not to shoot the freighter you're trying to protect because if you do you'll call sentinels on you and you won't be able to even look at the freighter to see what 
uh, it's trying to give you. So just make sure you're aware of that and don't shoot the actual freighter. Just, just try to take care of the ships that are around it fighting it. And once you guys destroy all of them, you'll get a notification saying the captain is trying to hell you. And all you guys want to do is open, go hit on down on your D-pad and go over to the communications comms. And then once you guys click on that, it will pop up. If I'm talking to you, you can skip through it or not. It's up to you. Then just make your way into the freighter. And you guys are going to make your way up into the actual uh, bridge so you guys can talk to him and see if it's the type of freighter that you want. So once you land to the left or to your right will be a doorway with a teleporter pad that you guys can step on and it will bring you easily to the bridge so you guys don't have to walk up the staircases this is a lot quicker turn left or right again and then talk to the captain and see if this is a class of a ship or freighter that you guys want now that goes all the way the same as c b a and s for the freighters but do note you cannot uh, upgrade the freighter class you can upgrade your starship class um, but you cannot upgrade your actual class of your freighter. So what you have is the only thing that you can get. So make sure it's what you want whenever you get the free one. I recommend trying to go for an S class. Um, if it's not what you want, just back out, talk to him again, and choose to uh, accept payment. Instead, he'll give you materials and nanites and things like that. And then just go over on your way and just do the same thing over again. Just keep warping to new systems until you eventually run into another battle that you guys can go and check out the different freighters for. Um, so next up, you guys can see just a normal, normal. Uh, they'll just spawn. You'll just see like little, little shock waves and noises of stuff like kind of coming into view whenever you're in a regular system. Just go over there too to the little bulk of uh, ships that are in the, up in the space, and you'll eventually find a freighter there that you can go into. Go up to the captain and do the same thing and see if you want it or not. If not, you guys can just decline the offer and then just keep going on about your way. Now the freighter you guys seen that I had in the video is called the Pirate Dreadnought. You guys find this by going to Pirate Outlaw Systems and you do it the same way. Just keep uh, warping to new Pirate Outlaw Systems until you eventually run into a battle. Now what you guys want to do here to be able to claim this as your own, if it is one that you want, that's a right class that you want, uh, fly behind it, which you always spawn behind it, and go down under to the engines and destroy each one. Because once you start destroying the shields of this uh, Dreadnought, it'll try to escape and it'll most likely escape and then you'll lose your opportunity. Once you guys do that, go up above it, right above the engines, and you'll find two little metal canyons that you can fly through here that have a shield generator or many shield generators that you must destroy, which are these little circle domes. There's about four to five in each one. Uh, what you guys want to do is kind of sit back a little bit on the first one and then just shoot them because little uh, energy fuel pods come out and you guys want to destroy those as well. So you can just do that while you're flying through. We kind of sit back so you can go ahead and do that all in one run instead of just going through it twice. Now, once you guys get one of the sides done, just fly over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Now once you guys are done destroying all that, just start shooting it until it surrenders. Don't blow it up yet. Just shoot a little bit and it'll pop up saying that they have surrendered. Now you guys, all you want to do is go inside just like the other freighters and go talk up to the captain. Now there's only going to be two options on this one. It's either going to be to destroy it or to accept the freighter or uh, commandeer it. Um, so it really depends on you on the class type. Again, I would go for an S. Um, so if it's not the one you want, just decline it and you're just going to go outside and you're just going to destroy uh, the freighter and you'll get some reputation from the designated uh, intelligent beings that own that system. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just go out there, destroy it, and then you just go on your merry way doing the exact same thing, uh, trying to find different ones that you guys can have. Now, once you guys destroy it, you'll be able to see on your little mini-map at the top of Green Diamonds. Now, these are frigates that the freighter had that you guys can buy. If you guys do not want them, they're not the right class, I recommend shooting them because it gets kind of confusing which ones you've been to. So, go ahead and just destroy it. Just don't do this to actual civilian freighters because they will sick sentinels on you.
Now to get nanites guys, all you want to do is go to any space station and go past the terminals and make a right under this staircase will be a dude named Scrap Dealer. Now all you guys want to do is go into here and you're going to want to buy an emergency beacon, which is 5 million units right here as you can see. It doesn't tell you what it's called, but this will give you directions to a dialect freighter. Now once you guys have bought this, I don't know if it's free for new players, so I'd bring 5 million just in case. Um, but once you guys have it, go out into space, activate it, and then go into your pulse drive until it tells you you can safely leave because it has found a dialect freighter. Now, once you guys have actually found one, you're going to want to land on the roof of it. It's how you get inside and then just go down the pathway until you eventually make it to a door that you guys cannot get past. Now, once you guys get to this, you just want to over or unseal the door with the active receiver and then go inside. Use your um, scanner to find the boxes more easily and also go into first person because it does zoom you in in third person. It's just a lot easier to see and you guys are looking for tainted metal. Now, all you want to do is just keep going through this dialect freighter to the different levels and stuff and you get a lot of different materials you can sell for actual money and uh, different things but also when you're going through here make sure you look for these tablets because they can give you certain things that you need to keep progressing through the dialect freighter and if you guys do not have a certain uh, cold type of uh, technology to be able to survive the cold or if you do and don't have anything to charge it with there are these heating units all throughout here that you guys can turn on and it will immediately repair you all the way back up and they are unlimited so don't forget that there's those are there for you guys to use um from the first time i did this i didn't know they were but now that i know that i'm gonna let you guys know now, once you guys put the tainted metal into your either personal refiner or any refiner that you guys build, you'll turn one of these tainted metals into two clusters. So this is a good way to get them if you keep doing this repeatedly, but again, you have to have money to keep doing it repeatedly. So I'm going to show you guys a more easy method that doesn't require uh, so much money to do. But as you can see, you do get a pretty good amount of nanites if you have a lot of tainted metal. Now, the last way I'm going to show you guys is to make sure you land on every planet and every system that you guys go to because you can upload all the data to get nanites. Now, to maximize this, your profits on nanites and to get as many as possible, make sure you try to find every single different animal that is on each planet because you get a massive amount of rewards of nanites for each one. Sometimes you get hundreds of nanites. Some give you thousands of nanites um, for finding them all. So make sure you do that, guys, because it's a very easy way to make nanites uh, compared to the other method when you have to have a lot of money. Now that is it for this video guys. I hope it was helpful and you enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys did, please consider hitting that notification bell so you never miss out on my new videos. And I will see you all next time.